hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create an online radio station for yourself now let's say you are passionate about having a podcast where you discuss or you have interviews with people or you want to create your own kind of online radio station for free now this tutorial will be able to show you how you can be able to sh get this online radio station for free whereby people will be able to um, you know stream your radio station and then access it anywhere that they they go so this is an example of a radio station that i have created over here now as you can see over here this is um you know um, a radio station called gh flames now i created this radio station for um one of our websites gh flames now if you look at it over here people can come to this website and then listen to it over here okay so they can click over here and then they'll be listening listening to um, you know, all the all the songs that we have on gh flames okay and that is it so basically um this is an online radio station um platform where you can be able to create your own online radio station now this is the back end i want to show you the back end this is the back end of um you know your radio station now as you can see over here on on the um you know front end where users can be able to see now i have um, i'm using what we call auto dj meaning that um you know i've set up some songs which is just playing non-stop okay so we'll play and play and play until i decide to remove that songs over there so this is very good when you are not like you know streaming live but rather you are just um you want just to put songs over there or just to you've recorded your podcast or other things and then you want to broadcast it for people to also have um just just listen to your podcast so we have something we call auto dj so as you can see over here auto i am on air but it is what auto dj okay now aside having the auto dj there are also other things that you can also you can also broadcast live okay so you can stream live from wherever you are in this world and then people can be able to um you know access it now what i will do is um i'll show you how you can be able to also um stream live using a software free software that you can also download and then use okay now those platforms they provide it for you for free of course um this platform also have a premium version where you can be also um you know um, access the premium um side of this particular platform but this is what you are going to get so as you can see you have your broadcast settings over here okay you can be able to have um this one to be able to use it to stream in any software that you you have so if you have um a streaming software you want to use you can use this um settings over here to uh, to stream okay and that is it now what it's really good about this particular platform is that um you can also have their app and then users can be also stream the songs on your app so on on their app so what you do is um you will be able to um you know either um, go to the app store or play store and then download the app and then users can also um stream your your radio station from there so you can send this qr code or you can send this um you know play store and then app store link to people and then people can go there search your your um your radio station and then they can be able to um you know stream it now what it is really amazing is that this radio station or platform online radio station platform supports big 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 radio stations so if you're in ghana you know that 3fm is not a small station okay so if your radio station is on the same platform as 3fm then it means that you are um you know you are big okay so and then onya fm okay so we have bigger bigger radio stations or fm you know um beats radio okay all of them are what bigger bigger radio stations that you can be able to have now if you click over here to view all you see all the bigger bigger radio stations that you can be able to see over here okay and that is what and that is amazing now this supports every kind of radio station okay now they also have um call to listen okay so you can be able to have access to um calling in people to give numbers for people to uh, call in to uh, to listen okay so as you can see over here when you click over here um you can be able to uh, call to listen allow listeners to access a stations connect with ease okay so you can upgrade your plan and then you can be able to 
um, get a number telephone number and then people can be able to call in to listen to your radio station now, i'm going to show you how you can be able to um get this radio station on your um you know uh for free how to be able to um you know um, create an account over there how you can be able to set it up and then how you can be able to use a free software okay that is the last part of it so stay tuned how you can be able to use a free stop software to be able to stream online okay to be able to stream online from your computer wherever you are in this world okay so stay tuned don't go anywhere and let's jump into the video All right, guys so to be able to um you know create a free radio station now open a new link over here or a new um tab over here okay just open a new tab i'm using google chrome of course you can use any other um browser that you want to use but i'm using google chrome okay so open a new tab in google chrome and then type in um zeno fm okay just type in zeno fm and then click on it to search for it now as you can see the first one that will comes over here is where you're gonna what you're gonna have so zeno.fm okay and that is what we are going to use so we're gonna click on it over here now guys zeno doesn't sponsor this video it is just um a free um video that i'm doing for you guys alone now, i've done a couple of i've done one video on this particular one but people, people keep calling me and texting me sending me messages about um they are not able to do it they're not able to do that i'm going to go through again so that you guys will be able to what, um be able to you know take this step seriously okay so once you're over here of course i'm going to accept this so once you're over here make sure that um we're going to sign up or you can click on create okay so if you want to create an, a radio station you can decide to go over here and then create okay so it says what the easiest way to create and listen to radio stations and podcasts okay so um you can click on get started now to start um creating your radio station or you can even scroll down over here to explore different radio stations that is near you okay so um if wherever you are you can explore different different radio stations over here so as you can see bigger bigger radio stations around the world you can be able to search for it over here but that is not the most important thing what we are going to do is we want to create our own thing our own radio station so what we're going to do is um, i'm going to click over here which says create okay so i'm going to click on create over here and then um it's going to bring me this new um form over here for me to fill okay so you're going to fill your your first name your last name your email address your password you you confirm your password and then you tell them that you're not a robot you um you know um agree to the terms and conditions over here and then you click on register okay so i'm going to fill it quickly and then we move on so it's very very simple to do so i'm going to fill in so kobe and then i'm going to say evans and then i fill in my email address which is um kitech tutorials at gmail.com and then um your password so make sure that you take a password that you can really really remember okay so i'm going to fill in my password really quick i'll confirm my password all right so when i'm done i want to um you know tell zeno that i'm not a robot okay so i'm going to just click over here and then i'll just um you know solve this kind of like um, puzzle over here so it says what i should select all which is um traffic so i'm going to select this one select this one select this one select this one and i think it's okay i'm going to verify and then of course i'm verified so i'm not a robot and then i agree to um the terms and conditions over here and then i click on register so very very simple okay so what you have to do is you have to um you know verify your email okay so i'm going to save this one so that i remember all the time no thanks so it says what you need to verify your email address okay so make sure that you verify your email address so i'm going to go to my inbox um, and as you can see over here i have a new email ad um you know email over here and when i click on it it says that someone has created a zeno account with this email address this is if this is you click here to verify your email address so i'm going to click here to verify and then guys that is it so our account has been created and we are now on zeno okay so um we are directed over here and then it says that we should create um you know account so um over here you just type in your company name and then 
um, choose your service so what service are you um, you know um, um, creating so over here the company name really means that maybe your radio station okay so as, as you can see we are creating our radio station over here so your radio station so um, is it a radio station that you are cre creating streaming radio or a podcast you choose one of them and then you create okay so um what radio station i'm going to say and let's say i want to create um kitech radio okay so i'm just going to say kitech radio okay and then i can go ahead and then um i'll add my services later so i'm going to click on create over here and as you can see um broadcast like a pro grow your um you know your your station faster and earn from audio ads by subscribing to a plan okay so um if you want to you know just um grow your your station and then people will listen and then they have audio ads in your station and then you can be able to just you know get money and earn from that radio station then you can subscribe to a plan over here okay but if not just click on just no thanks okay so for instance maybe um you want to take this radio station to the next level so you want to um, you know subscribe to a plan whereby every month they're going to charge you 14.99 usd and then um this is special for you know people in ghana of course it is that is what they are saying special for people in ghana so every month they're going to charge you 14.99 usd and then you're going to get these things over here okay so advertising credit of this con um you know conquer concurrent listeners up to five thousand and then and um, streaming bandwidth you're also going to get this one you want to get a um, podcast recording five you want to get storage um automation um 20 gig and then you're also going to get what a backup auto dj tracks 500 and all the other things that you're going to use to promote your um radio station now of course i don't need those things it's not really needed for me all what i want is to create a free radio station and i know when i create it my listeners will be able to get it um if i need to um get earn money from it i'll use ad um you know i'll, I'll let people pay me and then i'll you know run ads on my radio station for them okay that is it so i'm going to just say no thanks over here and then I will be able to continue over here and then upload my radio station um, logo and other stuff that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and then it says what um, radio station name. So the first one that we did, it was supposed to be our company name. OK, so here is where the radio station name comes in. OK, so um, I think we made a mistake for the first time. So it's supposed to be just your company name. So the company name was supposed to be Kitech Digital. OK, and the radio station is supposed to be. Um, Kitech Radio. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing over here. Kitech Radio as the same as what my radio station. And then I'm going to upload um, a logo. Okay, so I'm just going to upload um, a logo. And the logo they said should be what 500 by 500 pixels. So I'm going to go to um, over here and then search for Kitech. Okay, and then I'm I'm going to come here and then select just this logo for it. So I'm going to use this particular logo and then um, what is the radio station the general about? So the general, 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 I don't know how you guys pronounce this thing, but what it means that your, your niche. Okay. So what is it a general um, radio station? You talk about anything or you have a particular niche that you want to what, um, focus on. Okay. So it's just like you choosing a music, um, music genre. Okay. Genre. I don't know how you guys do this. Okay. So, but but that is what that is it so if it is um children university you know comedy um general music new stock um, religious or sports you choose one of them over here and then um you can be able to what uh, go ahead but i'm going to choose general over here and then um the country um you can choose your country so i'm going to choose i'm in ghana so i'm going to choose ghana over here now go ahead and click on create all right so um my radio station has been created and they are telling me to upgrade it but i will forget about this once okay so my radio station has been what has been created and as you can see we have a radio station created and that is what we have okay i'm going to take you through all these settings that you see over here so that you know how um this radio station really works okay so um first of all let's go to our dashboard over here so this is the dashboard the general dashboard of your xeno 
platform okay so when you log into um, your Zeno account this is what you're gonna see you're gonna see um, the Zeno plans over here and your welcome you know message and other stuff um, all these things that is what you're gonna see you're gonna see your total listeners listeners also over here okay so for the for this week and then for last week you will see all of them over here and then if you want to go to your stations okay so you you can click over here you can click over here and then all your stations will drop down okay so this is the only radio station that we have okay so um you can click over there to see your radio station but of course you can come over here also okay to add a new radio station if you have um, a specific radio station or podcast that you want to also what you want to also create so if there is also a podcast over here you can click on it and then you can be able to what search for the particular podcast that you have or you can create a, a new podcast over here all right so this is for podcast okay so now um if you click over here this is also zeno fm okay so um you can click over here and then you see all the things that is what under your zeno fm okay so um the zeno fm means that all the settings that will lead you to your radio station okay so if you want to get your link particular link to your radio station and that is it your radio station what url you see it over here so when i copy this one okay and i open a new link and i paste it over here and i hit enter i'm going to see my radio station which is skytech radio over here okay so this is this is the link i can send to people for people to be able to listen to my radio station wherever they are in the world okay so um that is what then that is it so um if i want to post announcement i can click over here to post my announcement okay so um i can also click over here to promote my radio station uh, i can be able to um, use then zeno's help to be able to help me promote but i'm sure um they're going to tell you that you have to you know upgrade your service and all those kind of stuff okay and that is it now over here you can write about your radio station so um you can put a few description over here so i'm going to just put some few description over here all right so i'm saying that um Kytec radio is a general web design radio station based in ghana we talk about um web design and digital marketing so that is something small you can write about your radio station and then also the city you are in i'm in accra and then the languages um, you guys speak um, English so I'm just going to choose any of the English over here so um, what do I choose I'm gonna just choose from either UK or something like that it's okay yeah so um, that is the only thing so if you speak different languages like um, you speak I speak simplified Chinese so I can you know just put my Chinese over here or I can just select this one okay so if that then the radio station is just um, english okay so that is it and then um you know you can also select a background for your radio station so if you have any specific background that you want to select so um let's let's go over here and then see our radio station and let's see the background that we have over here so as you can see this is the background okay this one this particular one so um if you you want to so if you want to um you know select a different one you can select this one okay over here now make sure that the size is what 1500 pixels by 600 pixels okay and then it shouldn't be more than 500 kilobytes and that is it and then it should be in this particular format okay and then station website so if you have your station website you can be able to put it over here so the name is what kitech digital and our website name is um you know kitech digital.com okay and then you can put um website image also over here so i'm going to just select the same image that i chose for my logo okay so my for my radio um you know image and then also um you know donation links so if you want people to support your channel or your radio station you can put your donation links over here okay so if you have a paper link you can put it over here if you have a cash up link also you can put it over here and then social media platforms you can also put all your social media platforms also over here and then this one is for apple okay so um your station app okay so the app store links these are all of them over here 
so you can you know specify it and then put it over here so if you know the specific you know um uh, link to that particular app but then i so I, I i advise you to leave it like this because this is going to the zeno app straight away okay so make sure that you don't do anything about this particular one okay and that is it so if everything is okay for you make sure that you save every single thing that you do okay so um from here we're gonna save this one okay so we say we will save this one and then over here also we have to save this one because we did some changes over there okay so we'll save this one also and then when you come over here also we're going to save this one also and then um what again so i think that is all that we did and that is it okay so now any progress that you make you will see it over here okay so let me just refresh it and see if um everything that i set up you know there's been some progress or not all right so as you can see there is what a progress so i have to just um upload background add donation methods and then also what um social media and then create um announcement okay so with the announcement if you want to post announcement you just click over here the announcement title let's say um you know welcome to kaitek radio okay and then you you type in your content over here okay so your um digital radio so your digital radio station that talks about everything digital everything digital okay so we're gonna click on create over here and announcement is what is posted okay so you can go ahead and edit it if you want to okay but the announcement is posted i can go ahead and you know um close it now so if i go over here to my radio station and then refresh um the link let's see if our announcement is what is created over here or not so why can't i see it let me see let me just refresh it again all right so as you can see over here that is the announcement over here okay so welcome to kitech radio and you see it over here blah 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 and then the date that it was posted is over here okay so basically um everything works fine and as you can see over here if you click over here it takes us to what our website okay so it will take us to our website so that is what um basically um how our radio station also works now let me go back over here um here and then let me see our website link because if i hover on the link over here okay so let me just type in the full https and then let me just save this one okay so i'll, I'll type in the full https so that it will show over there so um basically that is it we are done with the settings okay this is the full settings of your radio station now if you go to people over here so what does the people also do so um you can invite people to join the account with admin rule okay so if you want to invite um, people to join your account you can what you can invite so let's say you want different people to stream um to be able to you know do um control your online radio station so maybe um you have different different people who you, you who can have access to your radio station with admin rule okay meaning that they can be able to um go ahead and then come online you know change anything on it um stream wherever they are uh, on your radio station you can do so using this particular place and if you go to analytics also over here now this is where you see all your radio um streaming analytics okay so you're going to see everything who is viewing your radio from which place and from which what um you know um country you're going to see over here you can select um the, the radio station that you want maybe you have multiple radio stations so you select all of them and then you can be able to see it okay so calling uh, streaming and all those things you can be able to uh, check all of them and then let's go to account so um this is your account okay so um this is your full account so your country you are in so make sure that you fill in all the details over here and then you put in your address you put in your city um i'm gonna put in accra you put in your area that you are you are in you put in your um you know your your postal code your email address and then your telephone number and then you save okay so make sure that you fill in all these details also and then the last one is the plans okay so if you want to upgrade your plan this is where you do it from so make sure that um if you feel like upgrading your plan customizing your 
radio app and all those kind of stuff choose a plan over here and then go ahead now if not um you're going to just have this radio station for yourself okay so now we've talked about everything about um this side the left side of the menus over here okay now let's go to our radio station which is clicking on radio sta stations over here and then selecting your radio your particular radio station that you want now, as you can see over here this is the name of your radio station this is auto dj now auto dj allows you to be able to um, put in some musics and other stuff or recorded you know things that you've done um to auto play whenever you are not online okay so whenever you are not stri streaming live you can use auto dj to be able to help you um still keep your radio station running because if somebody comes to your radio station and there is nothing happening over there the person will be um, a little bit angry okay and then say that oh there is nothing over there anytime i come over there but when you have something going over there you can be able to what, have um auto dj displayed so let's go to auto dj and then see how it works so as you can see over here there are two different things over here we have the automation software okay so you can upgrade to the prime uh, plan over here and then you can be able to get this whole software on your system okay so that you can use it to um you know have multiple playlists and other stuff that is if you want to upgrade now this is what we are using okay that is the the, the simple one which is we create a playlist of music or old episode to keep your station up 24 7 when connection is lost or you are not broadcasting auto dj will automatically take over so we're going to click on get started over here and then over here we can upload our media okay so we can upload everything that we want to upload so let's click on upload to upload our tracks over here so guys let's click on upload tracks over here and then i'm going to go to my downloads over here and then i'm going to go to this one which says music and as you can see i have two music over here but i'm just going to upload one so that you guys will see how it works now if i click on this one this one is um just a free music that i downloaded from youtube okay so youtube's music studio um i'm going to just click on it to open and then it's going to what, upload for me so i'm just going to wait for it to upload and that is it um you, when it is done i'll come back and then we continue all right guys so now we've uploaded our music over here now you can upload um you know different kinds of music depends on you okay so you can upload 10 20 whatever music that you want okay but i'm sure um i think the the you can upload up to 500 different tracks okay so um that is it so i'm going to just click on save over here to save um the, to the playlist and then as you can see i have this one over here so um i can go ahead and then click on preview to preview it okay and that is it so now um you know you can upload up to 200 okay so over here is up to 200 and then you can upgrade to upload up to th um thousand okay if you want to okay so basically that is how to uh you know upload music to the playlist of the auto dj okay so now that we have our auto dj set up now if you go to um our radio station over here and then as you can see auto dj is what is off okay so we are not on air okay so um we can be able to what come over here all right guys so guys make sure that you see this green um you know um icon over here okay so if you see this green icon it means that the auto dj is on okay now if you don't see this green icon now just come back over here what you have to do is just come over here and then preview click on this preview over here okay so just click on this preview for it to preview your um your your music in the auto dj side for you and then if you if you preview it and then it is playing then automatically the auto dj has started what um working so um just refresh your website and then you see that this one will be on air okay so that is what specifically how you have to what, turn on the auto dj so after you upload the songs come over here to preview the station and then when you preview it and it start playing then that is all if you go back over here you realize that the green over here um will come on the song which is playing okay and that is it so um now that we have it done okay so now that we have um our auto dj set up now if we go to our 
website over here and then refresh the website so this is the website link or this is the link that we what our radio station link that we sent we sent to people so if you refresh it and then we click on what um listen now we should be able to listen to the track which is in our auto dj um side okay So as you can see it is what it is playing over here okay and that is what specifically what we want to hear okay so um i hope you get what i'm trying to you know tell you okay so basically we set up our um our website uh, our auto dj site we set up our auto let me close this one we set up our auto dj site um now since i am listening to it you can see that it says what one country um you know total listeners one stream now if you go down you see that it is from what it is from ghana over here okay and that is how you can be able to see people who are listening or listeners who are listening to your um website okay so you can really what have a feel of all the other listeners over there so basically that is it so now now that we have um you know our radio station set up now we can go ahead and then um integrate the radio station into any website that we want okay so for instance um this is my radio station now um if i go to widget over here all right so if i come to widget over here now you see that i can be able to integrate this radio station into any website that i want okay so they've made Z what zeno did is zeno has made um you know your radio station like a player where you can be able to integrate it into any kind of website that you want so for instance um if i want to integrate a small which is like um, a small player which is 575 by 5250 uh, pixels i can be able to have this um you know this kind of player into any website that i want if i come also over here i can be able to um expand it and make it to a bigger if i come to large it will be what it will be very very big into any website that i want okay so i can copy this code and then send it to any website that i want so i'm going to show you how you can be able to do it in just a minute all right guys so i have this radio um you know setup page set up on my website so this is um, a website over here now for those of you who have seen this website before you know that the, my previous video that i created i use the same website okay so um this is a website that i created for marketing and seo um, skills over here now this was particular website i want to add a radio um to it a radio page to it. so i have the page set up all right but there is nothing over there okay nobody can be able to um you know see the radio station so because there is no play over there i want to use that particular um radio that i we created and then bring it over here so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to go over here to my zeno um account dashboard over here go to widget over here and then select you know the the radio station that i want okay whether small medium or large so let's say i want the large okay so i'm going to just copy this um iframe code over here okay so i'm going to copy this one and then you know go back to my um radio station over here now of course i'm using elementor okay so i'm going to just click on edit with elementor i've already opened it already just to make the website really um the the video really short now over here i will just click on this plus icon choose a flexbox container and then choose this particular one over here this one over here and then um i'm just going to go ahead and then click on this plus again and then search for short code okay so i'm going to search for short code or i'm not going to use a short code. i'm going to search for 80 ml okay so i'm going to use 80 ml over here and then drag the 80 ml code over here because this is an 80 ml code and then i'll paste the code inside this particular um you know 80 ml um code widget now as you can see over here it is what popping up over here okay so it says what a zeno um dot zeno.fm station i don't want this one to 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 come okay so what i want to do is i want to remove the zeno.fm station from it so i'm just going to go over here and then just remove this one over here and as you can see we have this particular one over here okay so you can go ahead and then have it on your 
website so if you think everything is okay now i want to create a little bit of space at the top okay so i am at the bottom so that it wouldn't touch the um the footer so i'm going to go to advance over here and then um just give it you know um a margin bottom margin of what of 80 okay so that there'll be like a space over here then i'll go ahead and then i'm going to publish it all right so if i come over here and then let me just you know refresh this radio station page now you're going to see that we have our radio station over here okay so this is um the radio station that we have we created on zeno and now anybody having our website instead of we sending them um the zeno link this zeno link we can send them our website link rather okay so we can send them our website link rather okay so that is what basically it so i can be able to click over here to play go ahead and then what listen to um the radio station so that is how you can be able to integrate you know your radio station created radio station into any particular website now the next one that we're going to do is um we're going to go to this particular one which is call to listen okay so call to listen really means that you can be able to access um, a phone number zeno will give you a phone number where you can give it to your users they will call in and then listen to your shows okay and that is it now um for me i don't see the use of this one because it is basically like um you know people calling in just to listen to your radio station why would they call in to listen to you why they can listen to it online okay so but then some people also like it and then um they use it okay so that is it now we've talked about um our settings already so um this is what the the settings everything about your radio stations the relays and your stream info over here okay you can see all the streaming info if you want to um you know the station name the tax that you want to give it organization name you know organization side everything okay you can put it in over here if you also want to delete your um, station you can delete it over here okay and then the people also is basically the people on the um on your on your um how do you call it on your station okay so the admins and all those things all the people related to your station you can see it over here so um i think we've covered everything now the last one that i want you guys to also know is the broadcast settings over here now this is very very important okay it is important because if you want to broadcast um live this settings is what you have to use this settings over here okay is what you have to be using so you need the server address the port the mount um you know point the user name the mount password and then the encoding um you know um the encoding you know file name okay so if that, whether it is mp3 or acc okay so basically that is meaning that any other um you know um, um, um any other encoding will not pick apart from mp3 and then acc okay and that is it and then these are also the stream url so even with this one you can give it to people and then people can be able to use it to stream online okay so for instance if i copy this particular one okay and then i go to a new tab and then click over here and then paste it over here people will be able to what um download okay so as you can see they can be able to it will download for them and then wherever they they will use if they have internet they can use this one to stream okay and that is what and that is it so i'm going to show you how you can be able to stream online using this particular settings over here so um let's jump into the next video all right guys so to be able to stream online or to be able to stream from your computer to your radio station now um we're going to download a software okay so um a lot of people use um i don't know uh, some different different dj softwares okay but most of them um if you have to put in a streaming um you know links and streaming addresses and other stuff in it you have to pay upgrade it to the, the the premium version before you can be able to use all those softwares okay but this software that i'm going to introduce to you is free to use you don't need to um, pay to do anything it is an, an a dj software okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, our new tab over here 
and then we will just type in mix okay so i'm using google for those of you now mix with what triple x okay so mix m i x x x okay that is it so just click on enter over here and google will search for you now over here this is the first one so the address is what mix which is m i x s x dot org that is what we're going to use it is a free dj mixing software app okay so um we're going to click on it and then as you can see mix dj your way free and open source dj software for windows mac os and then linux okay so um it is very very powerful we have so many features over here now, if you're a dj and you want to what um get a dj software i advise you to go for mix okay a lot of you use different different dj softwares i don't want to mention names over here but this one is very powerful to use now it is free and open source like i tell free and open source and that is what you need to go for so i'm going to click on download over here and then it will bring me to this page and i'll click on download it will send me to this particular place now choose your um, operating system so choose your os over here okay so if you are using uh, mac os choose this one if you are using um you know ubuntu um fedora or linux or any other um you know any other os you choose the particular os that but we are using windows so i'm going to go for windows and i click on download it is 64 bit okay so make sure that your machine is 64 bit now it is also support for what windows 7 or later okay so make sure that you have all this um correctly before clicking on download so click on download and then it will go ahead to download mix for you now i've already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again so as you can see i have mix already downloaded so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my downloads over here okay and this is my mix over here so as you can see this is what this is my mix over here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to install it on my computer so i'm going to double click to install it all right so it is telling me that smart um smart screen can't be read now blah 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 i just going to say run okay so because i trust this particular um software so it will prepare my installation for me and then this is the dialog box that opens i'm going to just click on um next accept terms and conditions make sure you read all the terms and conditions over here and then accept it okay so i'm going to click on next again and then um this is um you know the icons and everything where you want it to uh, to be to be installed okay so i'm just going to leave it to the default one so programs and then what next so i'm going to click on next over here and then click next to um click install to to begin the installation so i'm going to click on install and then it will start my installation for me I'm going to click on yes so it's going to take a while so make sure that you hold on for a while for it to install do all everything for you and then you're good to go all right guys so our mix software has been installed successfully and we can click on finish okay so now we have our mix software installed now let's take a look at it on our desktop all right guys so this is the mix software over here this is um the software that we are using okay so as you can see this is it okay so now we're going to what open the software so we're going to double click on it to open the software for us and now guys as you can see it, it it's telling us to choose our what our um you know music library okay so where our music is located now i don't have any particular music on this particular um, um laptop so i'm just going to use um this you know this music folder over here and i'm going to select the folder and then guys as you can see it is what it is loading over here so we're going to wait for it to um, load and finish everything before we move on all right guys so our mix has been um you know has opened and this is how it looks like okay so this is the mix software a very simple software dj software to use you can you know stream online over here so as you can see you see it says what on air okay you can also record um anything that you want to record okay and that is what the mix software that we are using so basically what we want to do is we want to know how to be able to stream online using our mix software so what we're going to do is um we're going to go to options over here and then we see all the preferences and other stuff that we have over here so first of all let's go to file you go to um you know library you see everything you go to view you see options now let's go to preferences and then we're going to see our preferences so this is 
what we will be able to what um you know use okay so basically make sure that everything over here is what you're going to use now first of all we're going to select our output and input devices that we want to use okay so over here you go to input and then um you look at your input device so you choose between your microphones and other stuff that you are using so um the microphone that you are using so let's say i want i'm using this particular microphone okay so and the channels that will be what available is one to two two okay so if you have different different inputs over here you cannot you can select it also over here now make sure that you apply okay after you make any change make sure that you what you apply so that the change will take effect so that is what our um input so your output tool will be your primary sound driver okay so um if you want to use the you know the speakers also which is from um what i'm using right now is a headset okay so you can be able to, uh, to use it okay if not you can be able to just leave it as it is and then select the one that you are using okay the speakers that you are using that will be your output um you know your output okay so if everything is okay just click on apply over here like i told you just apply and then we're going to go to um the streaming the live broadcasting okay so if you come over here we have auto dj we have what a uh, live broadcasting we also have what recording okay so what we want is live broadcasting over here and now guys as you can see this is where we will enter everything that we uh we want to use okay so we're gonna go back to our zeno website okay so we're gonna go back to our zeno website where we see all our information and other stuff over there and then um we want to click on our live um, broadcast settings over here. So click on it. And then it says that it is using an ice cast. Okay, guys, listen, ice cast. Okay, so if you come over here and go to your preference, make sure that you choose what ice cast. Okay, so um, we have ice cast two and then ice cast one. Okay, now for, um, you know, for me i don't know really know the difference in it okay but what i will advise is you select one of them if it doesn't work change it to the other one okay that is basically how i will, I will tell you to do i don't really know the difference in them so you select one of them so right now this one was what selected already so i'm going to just leave it as it is um you know pre-selected so i'm going to leave it ice cuts too as it is but don't choose shoutcast it is saying what ice cast so either one or two okay so any of them make sure that you select of them and then um what we are going to do is we're going to copy the server address so we copy the server address we come over here and then um it says what over here the host okay so putting the server address will be the host okay so that is the host server address is the host and then you come to um mount point okay so just select it over here come back over here and then this is the mount okay so put it over there and then the pot is 80 not 800 okay so come over here it says 800 over here put in your 80 okay and then your login details this is the username and then your what your password okay so you're gonna choose it and then you also come over here copy it come to your username put it in which is the source and then your password also now of course you can reset it if you want to reset it you can reset it i'm just going to copy this one come over here and then put it in over here so it is what it is um, as simple as that now we have what we have um you know just done the settings for it so now um, let's look at certain things that we can also do over here so um the format is an mp3 as you see over here mp3 or is aac okay make sure that you you set it right over there so the channels and all those things um the bit rate you know set it up make sure it's it's correctly and then the streaming name over here this is where you change your streaming name you see this one says what mix okay but you can change it to maybe kitech radio okay and then change this one also to your website that you are what that you are using so um, i'm just gonna say maybe um kitech digital.com okay and then this streaming is online for testing purposes so i'm say i'll say this is kitech radio okay so um you know anything other thing that you want to choose you can choose so 
um, the meta title, there's the artist and then it title and all those kind of stuff. So let's say you're playing music and other stuff, you can be able to what, use that one. So um, I think everything is quite all right. So if you want to make, to make it public, you can make it to the public. Okay. So it depends on, this is the streaming for public stream. Okay. So it depends on you. So I'm just going to apply over here. Just going to click on apply and click on um yeah so you can decide to create a new connection okay so it depends on you so let's say turn on live broadcasting when applying settings so um i want to turn it on and then i'll click on apply and then click on okay over here so guys as you can see it is trying to what to connect okay so um i'm gonna go over here and as you can see over here it is what it is on air okay so this is what this is particularly on air so everything is what on air over here so now since we are it is green it shows that it is on air. since we are on air we can go back to our um you know zeno radio station to see if truly truly we are on air okay so let's click over here all right guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go over here and then start playing something over here and see if um it's going to come to um you know it's going to come to what we want okay so i'm just going to send something over here this file is too big okay so it's going to take some time to to read now the reason why i want to change it i just want to see if um this one which is not on the web um, on the website or in the auto dj in the website over here okay will play over here and that is what i want to do i want it since it is not playing over here um, I'm not listening to anything. It, nothing is working over here, so it means that maybe something is what is 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 working over here. So what I want to do is I just want this one to load, and then I can just decide. Hello, guys. To guys, welcome once again. My name is Kobe, and this is Skytech Digital. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you, you can be able to create a login or registration page or a login sign up page. So as you can see over here, we have um this login sign up page then i'm going to show you how to create it so when somebody click over here the person is going to show you how you be able to create a login or registration page or a login sign up page so as you can see all right guys so as you can see everything is working properly over here okay so i'm going to stop it now as you can see it is what it is working over here so that is what that is exactly how it's going to be it is working over here now to stream um you know from your microphone okay make sure that you set up the microphone very well and the preferences over here okay so i'm going to go to preferences once again and then um, i'm going to go to you know the sound hardware and other stuff over here now maybe i did not choose the right input okay so um maybe i chose the wrong one so maybe it is this particular one so i don't know so just play around it okay so make sure that you play oh okay so the microphone is over here okay so as you can see i chose the wrong thing so the microphone is over here so this is what the microphone okay so make sure that you choose the right one okay make sure that you choose the right one and everything is going to what is going to work perfectly so as you can see this is the microphone and we can just apply it and then we can click on okay all right so you can be able to um you know speak through the microphone okay and then um i'm sure everything will work perfectly well all right guys so to turn on your mic okay so we have to turn on our mic now to turn on our mic make sure that and um, when you go to preferences over here okay so um make sure that your input you select the microphone okay so make sure that you select the particular microphone that you, you are using okay select it and then apply now after applying go back over here and then um go to at the top over you see we have this one over here says what mic and then aux okay so which is is showing the microphone how you can be able to um use the microphone now turn it on click on it to turn it on when it is on like this like just like this one it means that it is on okay and then you're going to see this particular um thing that comes over here, which says what mic one okay so if i turn it off see it is gone but if I turn it on right now, this one comes over here, which says mic one, meaning that um, we have mic one over here. Now, if we, I want to talk, um, I can click on it and then oh, I, I can, can start, start talking. talking. As, As you can, can see, see, 
this one, one start moving it over here. here now if i um stop it and what it will stop so if i want to talk i can still talk okay, okay so, so test the mic one two one two test the mic one two hello guys welcome to kitech digital radio kitech digital radio so i am streaming online now if i go and then let me refresh this particular one and i click on listen over here Test the mic one two one two test the mic one two test the mic one two one two test the mic one two so you realize that everything is working okay ignore this one forget this one everything it is still what it is still working over here ignore this one forget this one it's still what it is still working over here so everything is working perfectly so, so it is streaming online. online you can go ahead and then stream online okay so it and that is it you can so you can be talking and then playing music at the same time okay so if i come over here and then play music at the same time okay so if i come over here so guys as you can see i am talking and still playing mu music i can go ahead and see and then i'm talking and still playing music drag this music over here let me just drag this music over here let me just all right so, so i can I go ahead and then play the music so as you can see if i want to talk so as you can see if i want so so if i want to talk i will just click on this one and then i'll start talking okay so that is as simple as that and then i'll start talking okay now i know this one is um a little bit messy but um pardon me for that and this is how it is when you're using different different softwares to be able to um show you guys how everything will work okay so uh, basically everything works perfectly fine i've shown you how you can be able to set up a free um radio station i've also shown you guys how you can set up what um you know um integrate it into your website i've shown you guys how you can be able to download a free dj software and then stream online for free now i hope this video helps you guys to be able to do whatever you want to do set up your own radio station set up your own post podcast or whatever thing that you want to do please don't forget to like and subscribe to this um video okay so subscribe to the channel subscribe subscribe share share it push this channel and let it go far okay so this kind of um tutorials people pay for it but we are giving it to you for free okay so please all what i need from you is to help me push this channel further okay thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye